y'all, my name is Maya March, and today I'll be um, performing how to achieve a curly fro. Now, it's going to look a lot better than this. This is just like three-day-old hair. I um, did this for New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day, so it's pretty just done for. So, um, with achieving the curly fro, I'm going to only use two hair products, and the first one is this, which is a curling cream, and also a foaming lotion, which is the Lotta Body. And I'm going to use my curling rod. Um, they're a little bigger in, than most than what most people use, but that's because I love achieving a bigger curl because my natural hair pattern is just like a small spiral curl. So I absolutely love big curls. So that's what we will be performing today. So we're gonna start off by sectioning the hair. You just want to get some in back there. How much ever? You don't want to take like too small because like, I don't know, too small is just, it just takes too long. So me personally, I'll get something that's maybe like this in size and you just simply grab this and just take like a dime size amount, place it on just to get a little moisture going on. Get a little lot, lot of body. Make sure it's nice and straight for you. Grab one of your rods. Take it from the end. And roll upwards. If you have these type of hairs, just roll upwards until you can fit it in. You want to do it very tight and secure. So when you take it down, it can be nice and smooth, and you just bring it up like this. Sometimes they want to be difficult. Sometimes I even pop my hand on it. And number one. So then we're going to move on to the next one. And you just repeat the same thing. So I have a few going, but uh, as you can see, I parted my hair kind of and I placed it up and you just get the lot of body just a little bit not a lot and place it going all the way straight through get like a dime size amount of the curling cream and place it going from the root to the end towards the ends and literally grab your rod Take it towards the end and literally rotate towards your roots. And try to make it as tight as possible, allowing it to be straight throughout the whole curl. And there you go. Use that little piece. A lot of body. Just pull it on down. Make sure it's nice and moisturized. And rot again. Take it to the end. Twist up. And that's how you do that one. So you just want to start over. Roll up. And cap it. Lot of body again. Moisturizer. And right here, since it's kind of like a smaller piece of my hair, I'm going to use the smaller rod that I have. And roll this up. Try to get them as tight as you can. And then I'm going to continue with the rest of my head. And the TV, the last curl. Yay! 
moisturizing it again. And I'm going to get the smaller curling rod. Take it towards the end. And hmm. take it towards the end and roll all the way up. So it's like right there. Bending on it. And voila! The back. front and we will see tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and let this all air dry and i will post how uh the results look in the morning bye hey okay so now i'm gonna show you exactly how i achieved taking down my curls and as you can see they're very defined so i'm gonna show you you just literally take one curl at a time and literally just unravel it to the opposite. Cute. And don't be discouraged if you be like, oh, they're not like how I want them. Because I'm going to show you how I fluff. Be um, you can either wear your curls like this or you can fluff them. And me personally, I prefer to fluff my curls because like, I absolutely love big curly froze. So, here we go. One more. Nice and defined. Almost finished. Just wanted to show you some of the front, like how I take down some of the front. They're coming out really defined. The lot of body foaming wrap is amazing for hold, and it, my hair is very soft. It it doesn't is not crunchy or anything. You just take them all out. Yay! <laughs> and there you go. As you can see, the fine curls. Mm. <laughs> no, okay, so now I'm going to fluff them because me personally, I can't do curls that just, no, they're, they have no body. So what you want to do is like literally find a curl and like the curl is going this way. So I'm going to literally pull it apart and twist my finger to go the way that the curl is actually going. And you just pull it apart and twist the way the curl is going just so I can make sure that it remains like curly and everything. And you don't destroy it and you just twist it and you just keep separating like that like here's another one and it's going this way so I'm gonna pull it apart and literally twist it the way that the curl is going in and as you can see that's the defined curl and I'm gonna do that all over my head And as you can see, I'm finished after all of that separating. You can separate as much as you want, but I think I'm pretty done. I like this afro. It's pretty decent size. It'll get bigger with the days as the days go by. But this is the back of my hair. And as you can see, it's really nice and soft and fluffy. And you could just pull on them as much as you like. But that is how you achieve a natural curly afro. And until later, guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe.